these cheese heads or something else. Let's quiet them down. Let's keep this winning streak going. Fantastic rendition. Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. In this game, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Chicago Bulls. Alongside Greg Anthony and Stan Van Gundy, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will be joining us from the sideline. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Bulls. On Saturday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Monday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Memphis and going up against the Grizzlies. And looking at that Nets matchup, that one will mark game number six for them in the NBA season. We'll see if there are any adjustments between now and then to the rotation. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Levine and Williams up in the forward position. Kobe White is out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Vucevic in at the five. And for Milwaukee, out on the wings for him, we'll see Trent Jr. and Middleton. The post pair, the longtime duel of Anacumbo and Lopez. And it's Lillard in at the one. Hearing scouts talk about MP before the draft, the one concern they had was his hesitation to take over games himself. And I think that's just how MP is wired, right? He's always been a team first player, even if that means sacrificing his own shot a bit too often. How important, Greg, is it to a team's confidence to start the season strong? Kevin, I think it means more if you're a young team. If your roster is filled with veterans, you're looking at the bigger picture. Well, offensively, that's what you want to get. Vucevic from point blank range. Now, Giannis. Middleton outside for the three. Rebounded by Vucevic. Here's Chicago. On the wing, Levine. Defended by Middleton. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's Vucevic. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Milwaukee's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. From 11 feet away. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. And you can see the growing confidence that Giannis has in that mid range. Outside Levine. 
Pass to White. The three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, it's certainly worth it to disrupt the offense. Coaches notice that extra in out of the combo with the jam. Making it look simple. The athleticism of Giannis on full display. And here is Giddy. Pass to Williams. to Giddy. Five on the clock. Rebounded by the Bucks, And going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. Yeah, and on paper, you call them the better team, but they actually lost the season series against this group a year ago. And it's Lillard missing. Well, if you give him that shot again, I'm willing to bet he nails it, especially with that lack of defensive effort. White the pass to Williams. Dwight. Shoots over Lillard. And it comes off the front of the rim. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. They trail by one. Incredible range. Lillard makes these deep shots look like they're effortless. You know, you were talking about Giannis. He can put up 30 a game without taking many shots from the perimeter. That's a tall order these days, especially because he gets doubled every single time. And the timeout called here by Billy Donovan. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy. In this first quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to Levine. Beyond the arc. Rebound, Milwaukee. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. Yeah, that kind of performance on the road really speaks to their preparation and mental fortitude. Here's Vucevic following the basket by Giannis. Now here's Giddy. He has yet to score four on the shot clock. They could use a bucket. And the Bulls with another miss. Bucks leading by four. Giannis dishes to Lillard. It's rebounded by Giddy. That's not a bad shot at all. It just didn't go in. Sometimes the process is right, and you still get a bad result. Pass to Levine. Back to Giddy. Bobs it up for Levine, and the jam by Levine. And that's how you finish off the alley-oop. Levine just explodes off the floor to hammer it down. 
Here's Willard. That one drops, and he's now two for five. Yeah, he makes it look so easy out there. The game comes naturally to him. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And it's Vucevic missing. The Bucs have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Just simply overpowers the defense. Giannis flexing that near seven-foot frame. Milwaukee shooting their first free throw of the night. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Free throw no good for Giannis. Hey, Coach, one area the Bulls can struggle with, defending the outside shot. Yeah, Kevin, they've been very poor the last few seasons on that front. Not closing out, missing assignments. It's strange because they were once elite in that regard under Donovan. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 13-5 run here. Trent outside. the Kumbo looking it over. Rebound collected by Levine. Well, when they're playing off you, you have to make them pay. And he could. Pass to Giddy. The tray. The rebound by the Bucks. Well, the defense catches a break there. You expect him to make those. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Lillard's got his third basket of the night right there. A downright lethal three-point threat. Lillard is someone defenders must stay attached to if they want to have any impact. And Billy Donovan decides to call timeout. And Coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. Jack in for Trent. It's White on the wing. Pass to Levine. Again, no good by Chicago. Yeah, you expect him to make those. Good luck. Just couldn't find the mark. Right with a screen on White. Here's Willard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Here goes on Kobe White. Yeah, you never want to foul Dame in the act. He's almost automatic from the line. The Bucs have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. 
And the first one drops. Hey, GA, how about Damian Lillard's time in Portland? 11 magnificent years. I mean, Kevin, arguably the best trailblazer of all time. Rookie of the year, then seven all-star appearances. Dame will always be a legend in the Rose City. And Greg, two seasons ago, the Bucks ranked first in defensive rating. Last season, they dropped down to number 19. Yeah, shifting defensive schemes, coaching changes, also swapping Drew Holiday for Damian Willard. But they can and should be better than 19. Yeah, it seems like White's got that in-between range figured out. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, thanks. It's important to remember Damian Lillard was a two-star prospect coming out of high school in Oakland. He says that the doubt I faced, what I found is I have true belief in myself. I poured a lot in and just continued to work. That's why when I struggle, I never waver because I know that I'm true to it. Eventually, I'm going to have my time. Kevin? I think they call that game time. Hey, David, thank you. Well, he continues to make the effort, but the results just aren't there this quick. Antetokounmpo gets to Middleton. Antetokounmpo passes to right. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Lopez, banked in off the glass. And the Bucks lead by 11. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now here's Giddy. Nothing on the board. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got his third assist on the night. And how about the body control? Giddy refusing to let the defense alter that shot. Here's Wright. Middleton the pass to Giannis. Lillard outside. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Number 12, Torian Prince. Bulls trail by nine. White looking around. Levine dishes to White. Six to shoot from past the arc. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Milwaukee leading by six. And Lillard kicks to Lopez. Back to Lillard, right outside. Pass to Lopez. There's the triple. Chicago grabs the miss. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Yeah, I think the perimeter game is what helped them in that one. Consistent from out beyond the arc. Yeah, and what the heck were you supposed to do to stop them? Bucket after bucket from deep. Quite a show. And the dunk by Giannis. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Outside Williams. White against Lillard. Fires the three. And White, the bucket on the assist by Levine. White's got 11 points. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. Down it goes. Nice one there from Kumbo. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Giddy. On his Kumbo making his last shot. Giddy sets the pick for Vucevic. Here's White. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Right outside. Got us a screen on Giddy. Pass to Lillard. Fires for three. Good for another basket for him. Number four today. He's four of eight. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Giddy, and he makes that one. Giddy's got his second bucket. Giddy making the defenders look like they're on ice. Onto Takumbo, passes to Lillard. And Wright kicks to Prince. Nice D from Levine. Bulls trail by eight. Giddy with it. Now Wright defending. 
Giddy against Wright. On the wing, Levine. He can't hit that time. Prince with the defensive effort. Well, he just doesn't have it right now. It's as simple as that. And his team is struggling as a result. Chicago's gone 3-7 from three-point range in the first quarter. Vucevic the pass to White. Vucevic setting the pick for White. No good on the three. And it's Willard with the ball. He brings it up for the Bucks. Eight-point game. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Count that bucket. And just running the offense. White's that new breed of combo guard who can do a little bit of everything. Here's Lillard. After Chicago, picking up a basket just moments ago. Right, the pass to Lopez. Now here's Giannis. Lillard from outside, and he's good on the three ball. Lillard's got 16. Well, when you have a guy scoring like he is, you redraw every play to be about getting him the ball. Levine deciding where to go with it. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, and it's no good. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Bucks lead by nine. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? Yeah, in that first period, they looked to push in transition at every opportunity. Yeah, they gave the other team no time to breathe. Every time they got the ball, they were off to the races. And you see how effective this aggressive mindset can be. So for Chicago right now, the wingmen. White and Levine. Jalen Smith is out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Ball in at the point guard. Trills the three-pointer. Middleton's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Ball finds Levine. Smith with a screen on Middleton. Levine's shot is off. Bucks leading by 12. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. It's Lillard, top of the key. All right, Stan, hypothetical situation. Down one, shot clock is off. If you could pick anyone in the NBA, <laughs> who do you want taking that shot? Well, I'm going to go back in time a little bit, Kevin. The guy who really made my career for me as a head coach. I'm taking Dwayne Wade. He was the best that I ever saw. Not only did he have the ability to make clutch shots, he managed the game clock as well as anybody I've ever seen. The situation was never too big for him, was it? Never was, and he's so smart in addition to being as talented as he was. Mm. Middleton. And it's White with the rebound. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. That's it, and the Milwaukee lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Ball. And no doubt the release point is a bit unorthodox in terms of Ball's shooting technique. Oh, wow, what a great moving time. That is incredible. An amazing athlete. The, the length, speed, uh, Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. Levine kicks to Craig. Outside Levine. Over Middleton. Levine's shot is off. 
Well, his shot selection's been poor. If I were coaching this team, he'd be sitting next to me. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Down low. Here's Lillard. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. And now an 11-point Milwaukee lead. Some nights, Lillard can just keep going and going. And Billy Donovan decides to call timeout. He's ready to talk things through with the team. checked in. The Bulls also changing it up. Williams comes in for Smith. And MP subbed in for Torrey Craig. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And Stan, a positive for the Bulls over the last couple seasons. They've really done a good job of taking care of the ball. Yeah, Kevin, that's been an emphasis for them. You don't want to beat yourself. So you look up and down the roster. It's a pretty disciplined group. But it's also the kind of thing that can change from year to year. White the pass to MP. Back to White. Here's the three. Giannis grabs the miss. Andre de Kumbo's got rebound number five here tonight. Middleton finds Trent. The three. Rebound by the Bulls. Levine with it. He had 34 points in the win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Yeah, and he also put in major work on the boards. Just an all-around dominant performance. Giannis passes to Lopez. Here is Lillard. Giannis sets a screen for Lillard. Off target from outside. And after that great first quarter from three-point range, he has finally come back to earth. MP kicks to White. Back to MP. Bring it up for MP. A three. Yeah, having this kind of confidence as a shooter will really do wonders for MP in the long run. Back to Lillard. Let's it go with a three. Chicago grabs the miss. Levine's got four rebounds in this game. Trent against MP. Ball dishes to MP. Oh, no good on the triple. Well, this was his shot to miss, honestly. Poor coverage, good setup. He just couldn't knock it down. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Middleton can't get it to go. Bulls trail by eight. Left side, ball. Let's it go from deep. Buries it from three-point range. Ball's got his second basket of the night. Oh, great ball movement there. And so onto the Kubo will bring it up for Milwaukee. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. A pass to Trent. Here's Lillard. Back to Trent. Let's the three fly. Buries the long range jumper. Trent's got five points now in the quarter. And when you're hit, you gotta hit back. A bit of a duel going on between them.
came down the floor looking for immediate payback. Bean passes the ball. And here's MP for three. Another three for Chicago. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Trent outside. Back to Andacumbo. Giannis charging into the lane. Can't cash in from close range. Bulls trail by five. Looking to end his cold spell. Lopez with the block. And we have seen Lopez really improve his shot blocking. Adept at using that limb to alter shots. But incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Ball, the pass to Hall. Back to Ball. Here's White. No good from outside. Well, he started out with three triples in the first quarter, but he hasn't been able to connect from distance here in the second. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Lillard. Lopez, a screen on ball. And Lillard gets it to go. Yeah, even after all those three-pointers he hit in that first quarter, it looks like the D still didn't learn its lesson as they've left him open for another one. Back to ball. Williams sets a screen for Ball. And here's MP for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. MP's got nine. A taste of how competitive MP can be. He wanted to go right back at him. Lopez a screen on Ball. Alert against Ball. Here's Hansa Takumbo, and again, it's Milwaukee converting. He's had it going offensively, helping them build this lead. Ball, the pass to White. Uses the glass to finish the layup. 13 points for Kobe White. You gotta commend the concentration White showed there. He doesn't get thrown off kilter easily. Here's Middleton. Ball with the rebound. Yeah, and they hold the lead in spite of his cold shooting night. He has not been able to get it going. And it's White missing. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. Yeah, quality offense will serve you well in the long run. You can't settle for bad shots. And Miller gets it to go. Well, what a quarter he's had. You can tell he's in the flow. They should be looking for him every possession. Outside, Levine. On the wing, Levine. Back to MP. It's good from long range. 12 points for him. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. To the paint. Here's Trent. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alder. David? Kevin, thanks. The Bucks use their size defensively to great impact. Coach Doc Rivers said, we're not fast, we're long. So we get our fingertips on a lot of balls, and that slows fast teams down. Switching keeps guys in front of you, and the more size we can put in front of people, the better we can be. Kevin? Yeah, you followed this league for a long time. That sounds like a pretty good game plan. Bulls trail by six. You know, Stan, as productive as Zach Levine has been, you get the sense he wants to compete for titles. He wants more than just the individual stuff. Yeah, and especially, Kevin, at this point in his career, it just hasn't all worked for the teams he's been on yet, but he's still got some time to figure it out. Yeah, he does. Contact just doesn't matter against Giannis. Once he's inside, he is not to be stopped. And here's MP for three. The rebound by Middleton. Bucks leading by six. Andre Kumbo with the ball. Now guarded by Vucevic. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. Greg, you look at today's point guards. So many different types that can be effective. And there's a lot more freedom 
for point guards to kind of explore the parameters of their game. Sometimes it's steady in an offense. Other times it's to ignite it. No good on the free throw. Well, Greg, it took 40 years, but the Bucks finally won their second NBA title back in 2021. Yeah, and Kareem leading that 71 squad. Giannis was the man in 2021, averaging 35 and 13 during the finals, closing out the Suns with that 50 piece in game six. And he's good on the second. And what I love about Giannis, yeah, he's a superstar, an MVP, a champion. But best of all, Giannis is an incredible ambassador for the game. Here's White. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Hey, great Kobe White has proven he can run the show. Well, he's more than just a score. He's become a quality playmaker with better decision-making. But his biggest improvement has been his efficiency. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. So, Stan, let me take you back to the 95-96 NBA season. It was your first year as an NBA assistant. And, of course, the Bulls winning 72 games in that season. Unbelievable. They were incredible. But one of my great memories in that season, the day of the trade deadline, we sent out five guys, brought in five new guys. We had to play the Bulls that night. Only one of those players made it in. We had only eight guys available, some guys who had hardly played for us. Rex Chapman had an unbelievable game, and we beat Michael Jordan's Bulls on oh. that night. Oh, what a great story. Three-pointer Lillard, and it's White with the rebound. White's got four rebounds in this game. To the middle, Pucevic dishes to MP, and it's sent back by Lopez. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. One oh four left in the first half of the game. And that one drops. Laser focus from White. The moment that pass was headed to him, he was ready. MP against Trent. Now, here's Lillard. He's covered closely. Trent finds Lillard. Shoots over ball. And again, the Bucks miss. Bulls trail by three. Pass to Hall. 27 seconds left to play in the first half. Count that one. The desire to win, it, it fuels MP. It, he doesn't let anything get in his way. Onto Takumbo, passes to Lopez. Trent outside, puts it up from 12. Chicago grabs the miss. White's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Hall. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. The Bucks on top. They lead by one. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee.
Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. Well, right now for the Bulls, they started the season on a high note. Now they look to improve to 2-0. and Yeah, they look strong in that first matchup. Play with a lot of energy. We'll see if it carries over into this one. Well, coming back to the game of the night, the Bucks find themselves in a close one. They've controlled the pace and it's been fast. Getting out in the open court and scoring before the defense could get set, says the Jet. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. Yeah, he's been locked in tonight. Through the first two quarters, he's been a huge factor from outside. Middleton and Giannis, the tested forward pair. The guard and off guard are Lillard and Trent. And it's Lopez in at the five. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Chicago trailing here. Inside. Here's MP. MP converting the top bucket. Well, that's on the defense. How did they let MP get deep positioning like that? Lopez, a screen on Levine. By the Dekumbo, no good. And so Levine will bring it up now for Chicago. Vucevic dishes to MP. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. Lopez has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. And Lillard throws it down. Yeah, Lillard has those ups. He can get to the rim when he wants to. And the timeout called here by Billy Donovan. He wants to talk to his guys. Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. Let's take a look at last year's leading shot blockers. You don't want one of these guys in front of you when you're coming down the lane. Brooke Lopez third. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. For Chicago, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. White, wide open. He fights. And again, Chicago, no good. On to Dekumbo against Williams. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Stan, I've always admired you come from a coaching family. Was there a point growing up you knew you wanted to be a coach? Yeah, I, look, I loved being around the game. And so two things happened that drove me into coaching. Number one, I loved baseball and I couldn't hit one. So that was out. And I wasn't a good enough basketball player to go on that way. So if I wanted to stay involved in the game, 
that's when I knew I wanted to be a coach. But your dad had a little bit of that in his background. I say in a little kind of tongue-in-cheek, right? He was uh, a guy that led the way in your interest there. Yeah, my dad coached for over 40 years, and I think he had a great passion for it and always used to tell us that he never actually felt like he worked a day in his life. He loved it so much. Following in his footsteps. Terrific story. And he sinks the second. I think what makes Giannis special is how uncomplicated he is. The man is just an incredible, pure athlete who simply loves the game of basketball. That's all there is to it. Great open look there. Levine's got five now. That's inexcusable defense right there. you got to contest the shot better than that. Lopez outside. Pass to Trent. Five to shoot. Here's the teardrop. And that one's good. Lillard. Lillard's got four points now in the quarter. And just putting his entire offensive imagination on full display. What a smooth release from Lillard. Outside Levine. Takes the three, and the Bulls another three. Well, Levine is a volume three-point shooter for a reason. More often than not, he's going to make that. Pass to Lillard. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play. Excellent D there from Ball. And it's Vucevic missing. And so Antetokounmpo will bring it up for the Bucks. So it's off to Brooklyn after this game as they have the Nets to look forward to. That one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. And the double up Antetokounmpo. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Anzo Ball picks one up. Oh, Giannis getting the defender to bite. That's a patient move, earning himself a trip to the line. Shoot two. First free throw is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And you were just talking about this coach, Patrick Williams, a guy with loads of potential. Yeah, Kevin. He's had to deal with a lot of injuries here early in his career. Sometimes he tends to disappear in games. But when he's got it going, this guy has a chance to be a really good 3 and D player. It's going to be fun to see where he takes his game. Man, with that skill set at 6'11", Giannis might be the toughest guard in the league. Shoot two. The first one falls. And both free throws, good for Giannis. Bulls have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Ball kicks to Levine. Over in the corner, White. Just five on the clock. Shot from the wing. And the Bulls with another miss. Milwaukee in the lead. 
Middleton looking it over. Pass to Lillard. And that one drops for him. Lillard's got 29 in the game. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Outside, ball. On the wing, Williams. Under the Kumbo, defending. Vucevic has screen on Lillard. Here's Paul. And another miss by Chicago. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Here's Trent. Five points in the game. Outside, out of the Kumbo. A three-pointer off the mark. Bulls trail by three. It's White on the wing. Back to Levine. To the left side wing. Ball kicks to Levine. Vucevic is screen on Trent. White finds Levine. For Middleton. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Bucks leading by three. Miller the pass to Lopez. Now here's Adi de Kumbo. Off target from three point range. Giannis against Ball. Pass to Vucevic. Outside, White for the tie. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis high post. 25 points in the game. Middleton on the wing. Back to Andre Kumbo. Over Levine. Under the Kumbo can't get that one to fall. He is really scuffling this quarter offensively. Perhaps a little frustration setting in. Outside, ball. Back to Levine. Three pointer. Giannis grabs the miss. Giannis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Took him no time at all on that one. Middleton's got his second bucket of the night. And this is what Middleton does. Hit trades. He's one of the best in the league at helping his team space the floor. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And the basket by Lillard. Lillard's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, he's been nothing short of fantastic this game. And he has his team in a great spot as this thing winds down. Pass to White. Over Trent. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to six and the bucket from White. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10 nothing run by the Bucks. Trent outside. He's looking for Giannis and finds him. Middleton outside. Lillard from outside. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got eight rebounds in this game. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. The Bucs have converted seven of 11 free throw attempts up to this point in the game. That free throw, no good. And since halftime, he's made a concerted effort to get to the line. Be aggressive. Great stuff. Halls checked in for Williams. And the second free throw, good. Bulls trail by seven. MP outside. 
Levine against Zandekumbo. A three from MP. Damian Lillard grabs the loose ball. Lillard's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Lillard with a screen for Giannis. Down low, inside, Giannis drops it in. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Bean passes to Vucevic. Outside, Levine. Back to MP. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Giannis kicks to Trent. To the inside. And the layup's good off the glass. Lillard's got 10 points in just the second half. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Over in the corner, White. The three from MP. Another miss by MP. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. They get it back. And Middleton kicks to Trent. A three-pointer, no good. Well, he hasn't had a great night shooting the ball, but they're in the lead, and that's the only thing that matters. Inside, MP gets it. Well, tonight has been the MP show. And guys, they have to keep it simple. Just keep feeding MP the ball and keep seeing him add to that point total. Here's Middleton. And that one is off. Bulls trail by six. Pass to Hall. And he drops it in from the low post. Hall's got nine points in the quarter. It's those kind of passes that bring up the entire team's confidence. Middleton finds Lillard. Lock at six. Kicks it out to Yacht. Fires the three. MP grabs the miss. And Chicago shooting 35% or so in the third quarter. Whatever they're trying is not working. This one for three. Drills it from outside. And now just a one-point Milwaukee lead. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Here's the lob. And the Cooper's set setup. And the slam by Giannis. And if you're looking to make a big play with the pass, you've got to love Giannis. He's a big target on those alley-oop lobs. Levine dishes to MP. Lopez with the block. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And the Bulls making a change here. Smith has checked in. Back to ball. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. And it's Lopez at the elbow. Pass to Lillard. Six on the shot clock. Rebound by Smith. Clock management, this is where they can get a two-for-one. And, Kevin, every opportunity counts. Bean passes to Hall. Right side, ball. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. Ball's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. Buck shooting down near the 40% mark since after. They've been slow getting going. Lillard, the pass to Trent. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Trent's got eight points. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. And here's MP for three. 
And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. Yeah, and where has the defense been? They've been content to let them fire away. They've got to close out to the arc. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Milwaukee. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. And we'll be right back after this. It's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Well, it's one of the core parts of the game. Reading the defense and creating an easy bucket for your teammate. That is pretty. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. So for Chicago right now, They've got Zach Levine, MP out there with Ball. Then it's White, and it's Smith in at the five, roaming the paint. And this is Middleton's game. He's thinking of shooting it even before the pass hits his hands. Bulls trail by three. Ball, the pass to Hall. Back to Ball. On the wing, MP. Defended by Trent. Levine dishes to MP. And the shot goes down. And that's 31 points for MP. Well, you love the unselfishness. Makes the next pass and enables his team to capitalize on the possession. Well, there's so little ego in Giannis's game. It's not about him out there. He wants to make the game easier for his teammates. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, it's all due to his energy and effort, as well as how well he's been able to get ideal positioning on the glass. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Ball kicks to Levine. Ball a screen on under the Kumbo. A three-pointer is right on target. Hall's got 34. Yeah, just another thing MP does for this team. Space the floor. Giannis outside. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Well, that's only his first turnover of the game, but you know he'd like to have that one back. Chicago has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And White kicks to MP. Connects from three-point range. Hall's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Bulls. Lillard, the pass to Middleton. Here's Young. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And this is where you feed Giannis. The closer he is, the more dangerous he becomes. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, they've clearly been focused on getting the ball inside. And up to this point, the defense has not had an answer. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific. Doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. White, he'll bring it up for the Bulls. Trailing by two on the wing, Levine. MP left side. Back to Levine. And here's MP for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Under the Kubo's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Trent gets the bucket. Trent's got nine points here in the second half. Yeah, it looks like he hit the reset button at halftime. 
Not sure if it was a mechanical issue, but he's looked much more confident offensively. The wide open look here for Vucevic. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his fifth assist in this one. Giannis against Levine. They get it again. Lillard with no one around. That three off the mark. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Donaldson finds Lillard. And here is Trent outside. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Outside, ball. Outside, Levine. Rebounded by the Bucks. Well, it's just not been his night. He's finding good looks, but they're just not falling. Vucevic against Giannis. Back to Middleton from outside the arc. Sinks the three-pointer. Middleton's got six in the quarter. They're giving him a little too much space out there. That's his third triple since halftime. MP looking around. Back to Levine. Pass the ball. And here's MP for three. Damian Lillard pulls it in. Lillard's got seven rebounds in the game. Inside. Here's Young. And out of the combo with the jam. And we see this often now from Giannis. His offensive repertoire has become so versatile. MP outside. It's up a three. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Outside, Levine. MP outside. Bulls moving the ball around. Vucevic setting the pick for White. Shot to stop the run. And Lopez pulls it down. Lopez has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board move. Giannis outside. Pass to Trent. And here is Lopez. Middleton outside. And the three off target. Bulls trail by six. Ball dishes to Vucevic. Here's Ball. Back to MP. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Now Middleton. Lopez, a screen on White. And Middleton kicks to Lillard. Pulls it up. Excellent D there from Ball. Pass to White. To the middle. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Hall. For Milwaukee, they've gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. You can see the evolution of Giannis as a passer. He's gotten good at thinking for himself and his teammates. Right the pass to Hall. To tie it up. The rebound by the Bucks. Middleton's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Giannis. Can't hit from in close. Bulls trail by three. MP outside. To the paint. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. That's on Brooke Lopez. Hard to stop a powerful guy like Vucevic, Cole. He gets through the foul and gets it to go. That 
one drops. He ties it up. Well, with his rebounding and scoring, Vucevic is a nightly double-double threat. Lillard dishes to Lopez. Down low, here's Trent. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Trent's got 20 points. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. Well, you know this is when they lean on him, and he delivers with a much-needed score. Out to the right wing. Ball finds MP. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Pass to Lillard. to the paint. Here's Trent, and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got his seventh assist in the game. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. Four-point game. Right the pass to MP. It's hauled in by Trent. Milwaukee's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. He gets it in there. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Ball kicks to Levine. In the corner, it's MP. Back to Levine. A three from MP. Good! Another from three. He's scorching hot. Another three. And he's approaching the franchise record for threes in a game. And here's Trent. To the middle. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. He's got 24. And really, they've rebounded well all game long. Ball dishes to Vucevic. Over in the corner, White. A three from MP. A rebound by the Bucks. Andre Dekumbo has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. in the world but man this guy is a great leader lots of charisma and he holds his teammates accountable Trent outside he takes it in good great play by Lillard to set it up Lillard's got assist number eight now on the night Bulls trail by eight MP outside White kicks to MP. And yet, another basket. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Trent outside. Now here's Lillard. Middleton outside. Lillard outside. Shoots over ball. Off the left rim and up. The Bulls shooting it well here in the fourth quarter. 50%. A three. Levine. It's held in by Trent. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Yeah, they might want to draw something up here to get him something at the rim or get him to the free throw line. Sometimes that's all it takes to snap a coach. MP outside. Back to ball. Pass to Hall. And again for three. And what a fireworks display he's shown us tonight. Just keeps knocking him down from deep. Craig, he has just exploded from beyond the arc. That last make tying him for second in most threes in the game. And he's tied Curry's mark from 2016, which was the top spot for threes in the game for a short while. It's been that kind of takeover display that we've seen here tonight. Vucevic is screen on Lillard. Ball from long range. There's 42 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. 
Lopez sets a screen for Lillard. Fires from deep. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Just too big a deficit to come back from at this point. Well, you want your players to keep playing hard, but let's be honest. This game's over. A three ball. Hall, no good. Ganes with it. So the Bucks take the win. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Stan Van Gun, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Hart. Thanks for being with us tonight on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. MP, you are unconscious out there tonight. Knowing the kind of player MP is, that 50-point outburst was just the beginning. I bet we see 60 points very soon. Hey, they're professionals too. Long season, time to grab that lunch bell and go to work.